Hey everybody, it's Matthew here. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. Today in this episode, guys, is another Lego set review, as a matter of fact. Um, so yeah, um, this is, I haven't, I haven't picked up a Marvel set in a little bit, and so this was one of the Marvel sets I've been wanting to collect. Um, this is my review of, of the Lego Marvel um, the Hoopty from the Marbles movie, as a matter of fact, and, um, I'm really excited to review this set because this is one that I've wanted for a little bit now, and I haven't got a chance, and, um, in this set in particular, I got it for $40, so I got it half off at a pawn shop somewhere, and I'm really happy with, with, um, with this set, and we'll talk about it here in a second, but first, guys, if you are new to the channel, I do more than just Lego related stuff. I also do movies and physical media related content, and I play um, video games. I do all I I do all sorts of stuff like that here on the channel. So if you like to watch any of that stuff, be sure to go check out my channel because there will definitely be something in there for you to enjoy. And those of you guys that are not new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you go subscribe right after this video, guys. And if you are new to the channel, guys. Hit that red subscribe button, click like on this video, and press the notification bell so you can get all my videos, as a matter of fact. But, with that said though guys, enjoy the video. Let's get started here. Okay, so first off is Captain Marvel, as a matter of fact. Um, I really do like this character. Her torso printing is really fun, and um, she has like those um, flame balls... Um, that that she, that she has coming out of her hands in the movie, and then um, she has neat back um, back printing, not brack <laughs> back printing, and I do like um, her alternate face as well. That's a little bit more of an ang angry expression, as a matter of fact. Next up here is. Um, is the Captain Marvel's um, friend's daughter. Um, I, I'm, so I actually looked on the box to see what her name is, and I think is her name is pronounced Phantom. Um, I can't, I don't really know for sure, um, but I think her name is Phantom. And, um, and yeah, she, she's a little bit more plain compared to Captain Marvel, but she is another one of those superheroes that has like flames or something coming out of her hands and whatnot. But, but yeah, um, then she does have an alternate face as well. And next up here, we have, um, uh, Miss Marvel. And, um, I think they captured the detail on this figure, um, pretty well, as a matter of fact, um, especially with her torso right there and um and um her leg printing right there as well even even that back printing's pretty good and she does have an alternate face as well and yeah the this figure is pretty neat looking i think this is probably like the best figure in this set but next up we got a couple of the florkins that are seen in the movie. So we got a couple of smaller ones, like this plain white one. And then we have this um, plain gray one. And then we have a normal size cat that's also a flurk. And I like those stripes underneath there, as a matter of fact. And yeah, I really, I really do think they did a good job with including these characters. But before we move on um, to the ship itself and the set itself, I do want to mention, since these characters do fly in the movie, they actually include um, they actually include these four pieces um, to make it look like they're flying. And they also give you another translucent orange um, splat piece. Um, so you can um um so you can play so you can play with them and have their power and have and have them use their powers in different shapes as a matter of fact but um in the instructions it does tell you um to put these on their feet but I took them off for this video because they because they wouldn't stand up at all all right so moving right along here um 
The, the ship itself is actually pretty good looking. And to be honest, this is probably one of my favorite crafts um, from the MCU. Like, I know a lot of people um, weren't, weren't huge about the Marvels movie, but I actually, I actually enjoyed it. I, I, I would agree though that Guardians 3 was better, but, but I, but I really enjoyed the Marvels as well. But yeah, um, you got a sticker here and then you got a sticker right there. Um, basically everywhere you see every, every sticker that you put on in the set, some of it should have been printed in, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. But then you got a stud shooter, one on either side, as a matter of fact. Um, I really do like that. That is also a sticker right there. And yeah, you got two stud, stud shooters on either side for extra playability. And yeah, I actually really like this craft that was shown in the movie. But then you got a, um, but then you got another sticker right here. And then you got the booster engines to make it look like it's taken off or something. But then um, what I like about, um, what I, what I like least about this entire set is this gap in the middle. Like, um, like it's, 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 it's a big gap right there. And, um, the reason why they have it here is because this flips off. So, so what I did think was kind of interesting about this set is that they didn't make a removable, um, roof. And a, and a lot of times on these specific ships, they, they make the roof movable, but in this case, they actually put it on some Technic hinges so so it can lift up, as a matter of fact. And um, inside here, you got true you got two control levers, and then you have um you have seats um right here to place all three of um of your main heroes, and then you got um you got two different screens on either side of the cockpit area right here. And then right in here, you have like a remote control, you have a plant and then another screen right there. And then I can't remember what those two things are in the movie, but 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 um but basically um they they um they are inclusions for the ship, but again, I can't I can't really remember um, what what those things represent and then on the other side here you got another plant and then you got another plant right here and then you got um like some coffee or whatever you want to call that container right there and then you got a mug right here and then um this i'm guessing is supposed to be a blaster but that i'm not so sure and then you got a you got a printed record right there that is a print right there um, so it is not a sticker, in case you guys were worried. And then back there, that is supposed to be a bed for somebody, for somebody to sleep, as a matter of fact. Like, like we could put, we could put Captain Marvel back there. And then also right here in the cockpit area, you have um, a couple of different stickers here. Oh, oh, with, with my finger. Okay, there we go. You have um, you have a couple of different consoles here. Um, this one and this one are the same, and then these two down there are are also the same as well. And then, like I said, there's there's three seats um separated um for you to place your three heroes that are in there. And then, and then with the, and then with the cats anywhere on the box and all around the ship, they actually show them on like the controls here. Um, there's no studs, um, to like, um, to like hold them down, but, but, but on, um, but on the, um, box in the cockpit area, they do show all the, all three of the flurkins on the controls in different areas on the cockpit ship as a matter of fact but but yeah you are able um to place all three 
heroes in there. Um, and let me demonstrate it real fast. So we'll put Captain Marvel right here. And then we are going to put... Um, and then we are going to put Phantom in here. And then... And then we're going to put Miss Marvel right in there as well. And then I think if we if we put the Flurkins in a couple of different areas, I think it will close up just fine. But apparently it doesn't it doesn't close up with them um, with 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 the with the um with the Heck, come on. It doesn't really close very well with the big one on on the console there, as a matter of fact. But but let's see if I can try to put them on the bottom there. Okay. I did I did get him on the bottom there. He is right in there. And then close it up now. Oh, it doesn't close all the way. See, see look. It doesn't close all the way, so. So, so if you want to close it up with the flurkins on the consoles there, you're gonna you're gonna have to stick him in the backity back there. But so so yeah, I thought um I thought I had it, but I didn't. But but still, it closes up just fine. Why can't I close this thing all the way? Let's block. What's going on here? There we go. Okay. So, so yes. I don't know why it wasn't closing all the way that first time, but, but yeah, you, you are able to place all three of your heroes in the cockpit area inside there, as a matter of fact, and, and it, and it looks pretty cool, and it looks pretty neat, as a matter of fact. So there, so there you have it, guys. That is my review of of the Marvels, the Hoopty, as a matter of fact. And like I said, I enjoyed um, the Marvels movie. Um, but, and I know a lot of people hated it, but, but I really enjoyed this. I really, I really enjoyed it. And especially this craft in, in particular, as a matter of fact. And I'm really... I'm really happy about this set as a matter of fact and I'm glad and I'm glad they made it because I feel like um the the Marvel's movie really needed really needed a Lego set of some sort and and yeah but but yeah I am I'm actually am very excited to see all three of these characters again in the move in um in the MCU again as a matter of fact so so yeah, guys, um, let me know down in the comment section what you think about this set as a matter of fact, and what was your most recent LEGO set that you picked up as a matter of fact. But, but so yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, I do more than just LEGO-related stuff. I also do, um, I also do movies and physical media-related content and video games. So if you like to watch any of that stuff on YouTube, guys... Be sure you go watch a couple of my other videos. Give a couple of my other videos a chance, guys. And yeah, because there will definitely be something in there for you to enjoy. And hit that red subscribe button. But most importantly, press the notification bell so you don't miss a single upload in the future. And those of you guys that are not new to the channel, and if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you go subscribe right after this video, guys. With any other ado, guys, I'm going to go... Get Brittany back to more videos because more videos are on the way sooner rather than later, as a matter of fact. But with that said, though, guys, take care, drink water, and stay safe. And I will see you all in the very next video. Bye.